Hi there! I got some really good feedbacks about last video. So a big thanks to your support and I really really do appreciate that. So one of our subscribers, Deadly Hustard, has asked me some very good questions about hard skills development. So let's chat a little bit about that in today's video. As soft skills refer to interpersonal social skills, positive attitude, and problem-solving oriented thinking patterns, hard skills refer to skill set that you need to produce the actual artwork. So the five core components of any image refer to composition, perspective, value, color, and lighting. In order to improve on any of those five core components, you need both theory and practice. Just like your driving test, they are always composed by theory part and practice part. In art, it's the same. Without the theory part, it's going to be much less effective for you when you are practicing the drawing skills. Because you won't know what are the relevant reference points to look for when you are doing drawing from observation. It is not for no reason that most artists will take out their pencil during drawing from observation sessions to measure the shapes, the proportions, and the perspectives of the shapes that they are observing. If they don't know the theory part, it's going to be very hard to know how to find the converging lines, the vanishing point, and the horizon line of your perspective. Now let's imagine the second scenario. When you just keep studying book theories and you are very hesitant to take out your pencil and practice on paper, the outcome would be obvious. You won't be able to produce the actual content in order to advance in your art career. Practice can be done both inside and outside depending on subject matter. If you want to draw modern architectures and you live in a big city, then it's a good match. Go out, observe the real world. If you want to draw spaceships or robots, probably it's a better idea to stay at home because this way you'll find more reference and materials to study from. So I would suggest a mixture of theory and practice in order for you to tackle any of those five core components. Especially for perspective, I would highly recommend the How to Draw book by Scott Robinson. That's the best and the most complete book about perspective out there. I do have a copy of the book here, and I'm going to flip through it quickly with you. So, I was really happy when I got this book, and uh, I was lucky enough to have Scott sign on my book when I was attending his workshop. It's really sweet. So, he covered a lot of different topics about perspective, line construction, finding your circle, drawing ellipse in perspective using diagonals. He also covered drawing material and skills. So I'm just going to flip through it quickly.
it's a really a valuable book to include in your library. I strongly recommend it. You don't have to know everything in this book before starting the practice part. The most important parts are about one point, two point, and three point perspective. Also, you need to know how to find your converging lines, your vanishing points, and your horizon line in any given image. For the rest, when you actually encounter a problem of perspective, and then you can refer back to the book. I still don't fully understand how to construct a fisheye perspective by hand, but it never happens to me that I actually need it in my daily work. But if one day I would need to do that, I would refer to my perspective bible here. Okay, there are also some questions about learning 3D softwares. Is it going to help you to become a concept artist? The 3D software is only a tool to help you to understand or apply and match quickly the five core components of an image into your creation process. I have met two crowds of students, the ones who know about 3D tools and the ones who don't. The difference on the quality of their work doesn't depend on their 3D knowledge, but rather on their understanding of the fundamentals of building a visually appealing image. However, I have to mention the fact that a well-trained artist with fundamentals can perform much more efficiently at production work when this person knows at least one 3D tool. Why, you may ask? Because today's big production requires a lot of details in the concept artwork and in a much shorter amount of time. Three years ago, I would build a library of custom brush related to a specific project to speed up my process. But today, I tend to go one step further. I also build a 3D asset library related to my specific project in order to speed up the creation of my scene. It also allows me to have different options of camera angles for one section of the map. It gives me much more room to play easily with composition and lighting in a very short amount of time. The learning curve depends on individuals. More you know about CG tools, easier it's going to be for you to pick up a new tool. Some 3D packages are very complex and you don't need to study everything in depth. If you do focus on environment, you don't need to study the animation and the rigging parts, nor the particle effects. Focusing and concentrating on your core skills will always make you to win more time. So to conclude today's video, study the five core components of building an image by learning composition, perspective, value, color, and lighting. Please don't forget to practice at the same time. In the next video, I will talk about some portfolio preparation topics as requested by some of the subscribers. Hope you have enjoyed today's topic. If you want to have your own questions answered, please don't forget to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.